Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 57, Nested Forms in Rails 5, Create Child, Then Create Parent. In this episode, you'll learn how to create a child record and then assign a parent using optional true. You'll create two paths for saving a record with two controllers and staying restful. If you've been following along with the other videos, we're going to add a path to create a crew member and then assign that crew member to a starship. And we're definitely gonna talk more about optional true. If you want to code along, you can clone the Ruby Thursday example app with this branch. I did upgrade to Rails 5.0.1, so that's the branch that'll be most current. Now my example app started in Rails 4, so it actually doesn't need to have optional true in there for the nested forms to work. But if you're starting a brand new Rails app, then I'll show you how that works as well. We're gonna add a new scenario to our new crew member spec. We're going to add the scenario, visitor creates crew member, then creates starship on the next screen. Given that the visitor views the new crew member only form, when the visitor creates a crew member and creates a starship, then the visitor views the new starship. This needs a few new methods. The visitor views the new crew member only form, which is going to be on a new path. We're going to create the new crew member first path. Then I updated the fill in crew member info to also include selecting the division, in this case, engineering. And then the visitor creates new crew member, then creates starship. We're going to fill in the crew member info. We're going to create the crew member. Then we're going to go to a page where you can select or create a starship. We're going to fill in for a brand new starship. We're going to update the crew member. We're going to expect the starship count to equal two because earlier in the spec, a starship is created from the beginning. For this video, I'm just going to show you what I've already copy pasted, but you'll see that I've gone to the new crew member spec and I've added the new scenario right there. It's going to be creating a starship on the next screen. Then I've added the two new methods that go with that new scenario in order to have that different pathway to creating the crew member and starship. And here I've just updated the filling crew member info. Next, we're gonna update our routes and model. And I'll show you more about that optional true. So first we're gonna configure the routes for this new resource. It'll be a new controller, crew member first. And we're gonna keep it restful and that we're using the actions new, edit, create, and update. We don't need index for this resource. And then, especially if you are on a brand new Rails 5 app, you want to add belongs to Starship optional true. In Rails 5, they decided it was better to force the belongs to to have that foreign key, and so optional false is the default. Now this kind of messes with nested forms, because you're creating these things at the same time and therefore you get this error. And to avoid that, you add optional true. And especially in this case, when we're creating the crew member on a completely separate page and then adding the starship, you'll definitely need it. So just popping over to our editor again, just showing that I have that resource there. And then I'm actually gonna show you that for me, it worked okay at first. So let me spin up my Rails console and I'll show you that for me in a legacy Rails 4 app, I don't necessarily need it. So I'm just gonna create a new crew member and just include the name and let's go with Keiko. I've actually seen that actress a little bit on other shows lately. So we'll add her from Next Generation and it let me create it. It let me have the Starship ID as nil, even without that optional true. Now that's for this Legacy 4 app. So let's, let's CD out of the project and create a whole new Rails app. Let's just call it Starship 2. All right, so this will be Rails 5 because that's what it's gonna pull as the newest version of Rails. And so it's bundling it up. Now I'm going to CD into the app. Now I'm gonna create the two models that we're working with. So I'll create the model Starship and just have a name right now that is a string. And then I'll use Rails DB migrate. Not going to look at these because they're really simple migrations. Now let's create the crew member. And again, we're just going to have name 
And then we're going to say Starship References, which will add that belongs to Starship in that model for us to begin with. And again, we'll Rails DB Migrate. All right, now let's run our console and see what we can do and what we can't. So I'm going to just try to create a crew member without referencing the Starship. So crew member, create, and we'll use the exact same data. So you see it's the same stuff. Name Keiko. Oh, but this time it rolls it back, okay, because the Starship ID is nil. It's not happy. It wants to have that association. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the project in Sublime. And now when I add to the crew member optional true, and then I will run my console again and I can simply hit up and run it again here trying to create a crew member and it'll let me this time. It creates it with the Starship ID of nil. So you can see how this is different from Rails 4. For the example app I'm gonna go ahead and add it just so it's a reference. Finishing up our new path let's add that new controller called crew member first and it will inherit from application controller. Our new simply defines crew member as crew member new. Our edit is going to find the crew member and then build the starship because that's where we're going to add a starship. Create is very similar to other create methods except this time we're going to redirect to the edit crew member first path at crew member. And we're going to have a notice crew member created now select or create a starship. Then our update is actually more similar to our create method on the crew members controller. If the crew member is updated, we're going to define that starship and redirect to the starship. We don't really have a view yet for crew members only, so we're going to go straight to the starship. For this controller, we've simplified the crew member params only to permit name, division, starship ID, and those starship attributes name and ID. Back in the editor, you see that I have added the new controller. Now let's add our views. Here is the new view. It's a pretty standard form, except that we are defining the URL going to the controller crew member first with the action create. Otherwise, it will try to go to the crew members controller, and that's not what we want for this path. Here's the rest of the form, pretty standard. The same goes for our edit view where we need to define where the update action needs to go. And that'll be the controller crew members first action update. And here, like the other forms, we're going to either select a starship having a collection of all the starships or create a new starship and we're going to just include the name. Back in the editor, I'll show you that I've created these new files in a new folder for crew member first. And here is how it looks all together. Let's look at the edit form and here's how this looks all together again with those specified URLs. Now I'm going to run the spec with everything together. I know I didn't do red and then green. More focused on explaining optional true in this video. So when we run that spec with all the pieces together, it passes. If you want more information about why the Rails maintainers decided to change the default from optional true to optional false, you can check out this issue. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Ruby Thursday. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign on up. If you are not subscribed to YouTube, click that big red button to do so. You get the videos just a little bit before everyone else. If you have any comments or questions, best to do that on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.